Is the coast clear? We are 50 miles from the coast. <laughs> Something very important has just come up. How long have you been out there? <laughs> the two airmen have left the nunnery. Good. Now perhaps Yvette and I can continue to discuss the menu for tonight. They left because the Germans came to search for them. They are on the run. Well, that is your problem, not mine. I don't care if I never see their stupid faces ever again. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it is the airmen. I would never have known. <laughs> well, look, do not let them come in here. You speak the language, tell them to go away. Go. <clears throat> now, listen, chaps. René's been awfully decent putting you up here, but you have outstayed your welcome. We, we, we can't walk around as nuns all day. The Jerry's keep trying to chat us up. Didn't they suspect the moustache? You think mine's big, you should see the mother superiors. <laughs> We're not going back to the nunnery. Fairfax mucked up his needlework and we had to spend hours scrubbing the steps. <laughs> Look! <laughs> Why is he showing you his knees? He was a scrubber at the nunnery. <laughs> no wonder they threw him out. <laughs> well, look, tell them to go away. Oh, listen to me, René. You are a vital link in the escape route mm. for British airmen. This is a safe house. Not for me, it isn't. <laughs> Let us come to the crunch. The crunch? The nitty gritty. <laughs> are you a collaborator or are you with the resistance? Is that thing loaded? I am desperate. I have one up the spout. <laughs> that would make you desperate. Well? Look, I am on your side, Michel. At the same time, I have a business to run. Now, I cannot go around being rude to the Germans. Not in front of their faces, anyway. I will put out my tongue at them from time to time when their backs are turned, or put a little extra salt in their soup. But we must be reasonable. It is the colonel and the captain. <gasps> the colonel is backing under the tree. Oh, no. I think they are coming in here. Oh, my God, he must not see them. Get them out of there. Through the window. No, quick. they can't go that way. There is a driver with a gun. Oh, quick, through here. Uh, René, the colonel and captain are approaching. Well, keep them busy while I think of a good reason why I've got two nuns in my back room. <laughs> the organ fund with my reputation? Go, go, keep them busy. Greetings, colonel. Uh, is there any refreshment that you would like that is not on a high shelf? No, thank you, Maria. <laughs> we have business with René. Is he in the back room? No. Good. We wish to be private. We will wait in there while you find him. Oh, my God. Quick, get them down. Uh, take these, Yvette. Take these. Uh -huh. And them out. Uh -huh. Just stand back. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather wait in my room? Stand aside. <laughs> Am I interrupting something? <laughs> René is having a special service for his late departed brother. He's not dead. The church don't know that. They were going to have a big one in the cathedral. Mm -hmm. But this worked out cheaper. <laughs> His lips are muttering in silent prayer. It is very moving. In that case, take your hat off. <laughs> Who is Frank Harris? He was a prophet. Hans, give it to me. <laughs> I'd no idea they played leapfrog in heaven.